What's up you guys, it's Ashley and I'm back with another video. Here are some of my do's and don'ts when it comes to getting lock styles. Have a picture of a style that you want before you go into the salon. This can save you time and energy. Unless you trust your loctician to freestyle in your hair, then hey, that's cool. But for me, I try to find a picture of someone who has similar um, length and size locks that I have. See a style that they did and show it to my loctician and my loctician is able to replicate that style for me. And this has saved me like disappointment. <laughs> you know, after you leave the hair salon, you're like, dang, I don't even like this style. Or I wish I had seen how it would have looked on my size and length locks before I got it. If you find somebody who has similar lock length and size to yours and you see a style that they did and you like it, that can give you an idea of how the style might look on your locks. It's not gonna be 100% accurate. You know, everyone's locks are different, but it will give you an idea of how the style comes out after it's finished. Do not be afraid to let your loctician know that a style is too tight or you don't like it. <laughs> For me, when, it, when I first started out, I was kind of nervous about letting my loctician know that something was too tight. But now, as soon as she's retwisting my hair, if the clip is too tight or too close to my scalp, I'm letting her know, listen, can you shift that a little bit because you about to give me a headache <laughs> or if the style is too tight hey can you loosen this one up because i won't be able to sleep tonight and i got work in the morning like whatever you have to do to let your optician know that you're uncomfortable or see if she can do some or he can do something to kind of loosen up the style so that you're not so you're not pulling on your locks so much you're not pulling on your scalp so much you guys know that traction alopecia is a real thing so to avoid all of that just make sure that you let your loctician know, listen, you gonna have to loosen this up before I walk out of this salon because this is a little too tight for me. Be mindful that the length, size, and amount of locks that you have will determine how a style would turn out. For example, right now I have two strand twists and I have really, not really thick locks, I have thicker locks. I have about 50 something locks. And my locks are right collarbone length, I guess, a little bit longer than collarbone length. So I know that when I get a style like two strand twists, they're gonna come up and they're gonna be more like a bob style. So if you were to have like really short locks, maybe starter locks, you'd know that two strand twists wouldn't, there's really dust flying around right now. <laughs> you would know that you know two strand twists might not be a style for you because when you get two strand twists your locks will be a bit shorter um for me when my locks were really short when i first had starter locks i would get cornrows i guess or barrel twists i don't know what they're called but they're just like the cornrows of locks <laughs> so they would just be retwisted and then braided back or braided to the side or something stylish feminine as feminine as it could get with short locks um, but yeah, I would kind of just have a really neat style when my locks were shorter. I would already go in knowing that, you know, my locks are short. Short locks can be styled, but just know that styles might be a little bit tighter when you have shorter locks. So you could probably just avoid getting styles altogether if you can, or just go in knowing that styles might be limited. The shorter your locks are, the thicker your locks are, the less locks you have. In my opinion, the more locks you have, certain styles look better on you, <laughs> if that makes sense. For me, I always admire when people with like sister locks or really small locks get curls. Those are really pretty. Not to say that they're not pretty on thicker locks. I'm just saying that if I were to ever have smaller locks, that would be like a go-to style for me. Right now for me, my go-to style is two strand twist because I feel like if I were to ever cut my locks into a bob, I would never do that. I'm not gonna say never, but <laughs> if I ever cut my locks into a bob, I kind of already have an idea of how I would look just because this style kind of sits like a bob. Okay, be mindful that styles are supposed to be protective. So remember to still moisturize your scalp when you get styles. Do not neglect your scalp just because you you have a style in right now. So I used to want to protect my styles. By that I mean I wanted to keep it as neat as possible for as long as possible. 
So I would avoid spraying my hair with water. I would avoid um, putting oil on my scalp because I'm like, it's gonna mess up my style. And I just got it two days ago and I don't want it to look frizzy. No. Now, a style like this is supposed to be protective. So I'm going to moisturize my hair every single day. I'm going to put oil on my scalp as much as possible. I make sure to keep my locks moisturized regardless of if they're in a style or not because styles are supposed to be protective at the end of the day. They're not supposed to leave your hair looking worse than before. <laughs> as soon as I take these out, I'll show you guys what I look like. Here's a picture of how I look when I usually take these out. Here are some of the styles that I've had so far. I cannot stress this enough, but please, in the comments below, give me some video ideas. That's really why I kind of took a hiatus. I don't have any like ideas. Like, what are you guys trying to see from me? <laughs> so let me know what else you want to see on this channel from me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll try to post more regularly. <laughs> and yeah, bye.